Hi, I'm Tony Richards, and today we're in San Francisco, and I'm going to talk about the most misunderstood street in San Francisco, Park Presidio Boulevard, give you a little bit of history of it, but please don't call it 19th Avenue. 19th Avenue is five blocks to the west. This is not 19th Avenue. The highway is 19th Avenue on the other side of Golden Gate Park. The north side of Golden Gate Park here, the highway is Park Presidio Boulevard. Here, here we are at Mountain Lake. Mountain Lake is one of the few natural lakes in San Francisco. Uh, Mountain Lake and Laguna Honda were once part of the early water system for the city of San Francisco years ago. Um, behind me, you can see um, Highway 1. That, that portion is called Veterans Boulevard. It used to be part of Park Presidio Boulevard, but they stuck the name Veterans Boulevard on this section only. And it goes up to the Funston Tunnel. When they built this four-lane road back in the 30s, they dumped fill into this lake. And after uh, the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, uh, part of the road sank because it was on landfill. So here you can see where it starts cutting through the Presidio. A part of the condition of the state of California building Highway 1 through the Presidio back in the 30s and building the tunnel is they, one of the conditions was they were not allowed to have on ramps or off ramps into the Presidio. It just had to take traffic through it to the Golden Gate Bridge. So the next exit is at the bridge. Here's how the Richmond District got its name. Um, we're standing on the corner of 11th and Clement, the southeast corner, presumably where that building is, is where an Australian named George Turner Marsh built his fancy house. Out here in this area is known as the outside lands. There's basically sand dunes and scrub brushes and a few little farmhouses here and there, chicken farms and you know, things like that, a couple of dairies maybe, but it was out in the country. George Turner Marsh comes from Australia, Richmond, Australia, builds this real fancy house out here in the middle of nowhere and names it Richmond House. And then he imported, uh, for his business, imported Japanese goods from Japan and had a store downtown. And he was instrumental in starting the Japanese tea garden in Golden Gate Park for the uh, 1994 Midwinter exhibition. So by 1920, I think, George Turner Marsh moved to a 30 acre estate in Mill Valley. And uh, anyway, he should be known as father of the Richmond district for coming up with the name. Um, that, that credit, father of the Richmond district, is given to builder Fernando Nelson, who started building spec houses starting out on 7th, 2nd Avenue. But George Turner Marsh is the, I think, father of the Richmond District. Okay. Right now we're on Funston between Anza and Balboa. And I uh, wanted to show you these houses that were built maybe in the 20s. They're um, slightly upscale when the Richmond District was becoming a fashionable place to live. This block is interesting because there's no utility poles, no garages. There's an alley behind these houses where they put the utilities and the garages. And so the houses are facing the park, the Presidio and Park Panhandle. So the people that built these houses and the first residents were right across the street from this nice quiet park. 20 years later, when uh, Highway 1 was put in, um, they were in for a rude awakening with all the traffic. So this is an example of how the Richmond District was I get, for lack of a better word, upscale at the time. It was a, a, the place to live. So around 1900, the seven blocks here between 13th Avenue and 14th Avenue. 13th Avenue is now called Funston, but 
When I was a kid, there's stampings in the sidewalk that said 13th Avenue. The street sign said Funston. The name was changed in honor of General Funston, who, uh, what, after the 1906 earthquake, he was um, in charge of martial law in San Francisco, basically. He went around blowing up buildings, so they named the street after him. After, after the 1906 earthquake, martial law was declared in San Francisco and was led by General Funston. So General Funston was in charge of uh, blowing up buildings downtown to stop the fires. And uh, this was called 13th Avenue. So they were somewhat superstitious. So they named 13th Avenue after General Funston, whose nickname was Lucky Funston. But he wasn't very lucky if you blew up your building downtown. Okay. This seven block stretch between 13th Avenue and 14th Avenue um, was known as the Presidio and Park Panhandle. It connected Golden Gate Park with the Presidio. And it wasn't really developed yet, but it was set aside. Apparently the city had control over it. And the reason I think that is because in 1906, after the earthquake, this became a refugee camp. 16,000 people lived in the refugee camp called Camp Richmond. Um, I've read contradicting reports. Uh, one I read said the camp extended from Lake Street to Anza. Another one said it extended from Lake Street to Cabrillo. I'm not really sure, but there were 16,000 people living here in between 1906 and 1908. In 1908, um, they uh, had to move, buy the house, buy the shack they were living in and move it to their property or just get out. But the reason I think the city was in con control of the seven blocks at that point is they had a policy, no refugee camps would be on public land. Sorry, no refugee camps on private land, the refugee camps were all on public lands. So after the refugee camp was gone, they started developing the park and planting trees. And for the 1915 exhibition down in the Marina District, they came and took a bunch of the trees and transplanted them down at the World's Fair and upset the neighbors. And there was a bridal trail through the center. The reason I know that is my grandmother moved in a block away from here, 12th and Anza, in 1918, and she said this was just a park with a horse trail running through it, down the middle. By 1930, that horse trail was a boulevard. And then they moved the horse trail here where we're standing on the east side of the park along 13th Avenue. So you can see the bridal trails here. Um, there was a big horse barn, stables, not far from here at 7th and Cabrillo. So people could keep their horses in the horse barn and ride them around through here. You didn't have all the traffic on the cross streets. Uh, I ran across an old map online. The main thoroughfares in the Richmond district were uh, Geary, Lake, Lake, Fulton, and Park Presidio Boulevard. Those were the main streets. This Park Presidio Boulevard was to make the Richmond District special. It was like the, the focal point of the neighborhood, the garden spot, if you want to call it that. But it was a, a boulevard connecting the Presidio, and it went right into Golden Gate Park, where the Rose Garden is now came out behind the De Young Museum. And it was uh, a boulevard like Dolores Street in the Mission District, for example, or Sunset Boulevard in the Sunset District. Just something to make the neighborhood stand out. So Park Presidio Boulevard was created as the centerpiece for the up and coming Richmond District. After the earthquake, people were moving out to the Richmond District. And, um, 
after the Golden Gate Bridge was built, there was no access from this part of town to get to the bridge. And 19th Avenue, on the other side of the park, they cut a road in to 25th Avenue called Crossover Drive, and another road to connect to Park Presidio Boulevard. And they basically, the state took over the right of way for Park Presidio Boulevard. They had, the state had to get permission from the Army to build the tunnel to the Presidio, which incidentally was called the Funston Tunnel. There's a brass plaque that, um, that says Funston Tunnel. It's still there. Uh, in front of it is a big green sign that says General Douglas MacArthur Tunnel. But the original name of the tunnel is Funston Tunnel and it was called the Funston Approach to Golden Gate Bridge. So the state basically came in and took over the neighborhood centerpiece, Park Presidio Boulevard, and put Highway 1 here um, to connect uh, 19th Avenue on the other side of the park to the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, before the tunnel was built, the Funston Tunnel, before that was built, you would have to come up 19th Avenue North, northerly direction, then cross through the park and the newly built Park Presidio Bypass Drive and get to uh, Fulton, Fulton Street, and then take it down to Van Ness and get on Highway 101 and go down through the marina and up Doyle Drive to get onto the bridge. So that's why they wanted a second approach to the Golden Gate Bridge through here and subsequently built the Funston Tunnel and basically commandeered uh, the centerpiece of the Richmond District, Park Presidio Boulevard, and ran Highway 1 through it. And um, so that's kind of what happened. The Richmond and Sunset District uh, were known as the outside lands. And uh, in 1890, the city officially named this area Richmond District. Probably had something to do with George Turner Marsh and his Richmond house. And then in uh, around 1917, uh, people were concerned that the neighborhood would be confused with the town of Richmond in the East Bay. So they petitioned the Board of Supervisors to name the neighborhood something else. So they officially named it Park Presidio District in 1917. And the centerpiece of the Park Presidio District was Park Presidio Boulevard. Then, the name officially stuck on the books until 2009 when the Board of Supervisors officially changed the name of the neighborhood back to Richmond District. So for many years, almost 100 years, it was known as Park Presidio District officially, but nobody called it that. Everybody called it the Richmond District. That's what I did. Okay. After passing through the Golden Gate Bridge toll plaza, we're going to approach the sign that causes all the confusion. It should have said Highway 1, indicating Highway 1 turnoff, but instead it says 19th Avenue. And it implies you're leading on to 19th Avenue when you're not. So if uh, you, you, on the left lane, just go to downtown right there. So it's going to lead us onto this viaduct that was um, called Park Presidio Boulevard for many years after it was built. But they changed the name recently to Veterans Boulevard. Here's the sign. And Veterans Boulevard runs to Lake Street. Here's the Funston Tunnel. Behind this General Douglas MacArthur sign, there's still a brass plaque that says Funston Tunnel. Same thing on the other end of the tunnel. So here we go through the tunnel. So yeah, historically, uh, uh, Park Presidio Boulevard began at Lake Street, and it still does, because they changed the name of this portion here to Veterans Boulevard. So here you get a, a full panoramic of uh, Park Presidio Boulevard and, and the park surrounding it. Now to the left here it is where it used to run through the Rose Garden, where the Rose Garden is now. It ran that way to the left. But here's the Park Presidio Bypass Drive. 
through the park, which was put in to access the bridge. And then we're going to come up to Crossover Drive. Now, Crossover leads from 19th Avenue to 25th Avenue, and it's a way to get through the park. And I suspect it was built before Park Presidio Bypass Drive. That was Crossover Drive. And then we continue through the park, and then it's going to lead us on to 19th Avenue. There we go, 19th Avenue. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the history lesson. Thanks for watching.